I would like to show today project history, which is a new capability in Altium 365. It gives you the access to all of the major events in the project's history. So uh, things like commits, uh, releases of the project, clone of the project, ICAT, MCAT, exchanges, and more. For the uh, commits, it gives uh, some basic elements, like for example, who did it and when, but also we can expand and we can see which files were modified, which components were modified, which nets were modified. We also have some uh, ability to detect variance changes uh, and some PCB board structure changes like board size and the layer stackup changes. So those changes are auto-calculated for each of the commit and are presented for view or search. So let's speak quickly about search. We can use the search capability in order to find all of the actions that touch a particular data set. So as an example, um, I can just type in outjob and it will find me all of the commits that modified any of the output job definitions. Uh, similarly, I can use it to find all of the commits that touch one of the nets. So uh, this net was modified in a couple of, couple of commits and I can navigate and see who did it, what are the comments uh, that, that, that were associated with this particular commit. And lastly, I can also search for example for uh, R33. So that will give me the commits in which this particular component was modified. So here for this commit we see with this green plus that the component was added in this commit. And then with this red minus we see that this component was removed at that particular commit. And we did who did this and, and when. So commit history is one, but as I mentioned, we also see, as an example, project releases and clones. So um, the other actions that we can, there are also actions that we can perform against a history. Uh, so let's start with the with couple of basics. Uh, for the project release, we see which data sets were generated and what's the life cycle of those data sets. We also can uh, download um, the data sets. We can download the snapshot, meaning we can download the sources of the project at this particular point in time. And we can also uh, view this data set in web. So what will happen is I am able to see this particular release in detail. I am able to see all of the uh, outputs that were generated, uh, download them, be able to see the design snapshot, so the view of the board at this particular point in time. Similarly, for the commits, we can uh, clone project from a particular commit to do kind of a branch, and we can also download snapshot, which will download the sources at the point of the uh, where this particular commit was done. Project history is available also in the Altium Designer. So when I go to Altium Designer, I can launch project history for a project. It will give me access to exactly the same uh, diagram chart of the project history with the same data uh, embedded inside of the Altium Designer. This is available while you are connected to the Altium 365 workspace. Uh, so I can search, view all of the commits, all of the releases, so everything that I, I can do in web. But in addition, I have a couple of additional uh, features which uh, are coming from the integration of Altium Designer. So as an example, uh, I can open a snapshot. So I pick a release. I can also pick a commit the same way. Uh, I can pick a release and select open snapshot. What happens is now the sources of the project from this particular point in time are being opened as a copy of a project in my uh, in my environment. So now I can 
investigate this particular version of the sources um, directly from here. We can also revert to a particular commit, so let's pick this one, and when we click revert to, uh, it will uh, take the project sources from this particular version, and it will revert whole project to this particular version of the uh, fr from the history. So as you can see, two files were modified and project file was modified as well. So now all of my project was reverted to this particular point in time. Okay, thank you.